evening and welcome to the Clifton Canine Companion Show. So tonight we're going to be doing the thinning. I got a new pair of scissors. I got these when I'm not dropping everything. I got these from Wineville, expensive at fifteen pounds. I mean, this is the price that I paid for that four set. If you just give me a second and press that. I'll be with a second. What are you doing? Okay. I'm just putting in an OBS to see if I can go on live on YouTube but in order to do that I have to do this because I have to refresh the page on YouTube. Let me see if it works. Oh no, it's not working. I really have to get my um, my laptop from my sister, my um, Mac in order to go live on Facebook. Not Facebook, YouTube. So these £15, it was the only choice they had. They didn't have any other ones. I was trying to look for ones that would get thick up here because I, I really dislike this bit. Especially if you're left-handed. Although it's got it on it. But, um, right, in order to do the thinning, you need three things. One, the main brush to obviously start with, comb and the scissors and you use a combination of the comb and the scissors together in order to get an even cut. So tonight he's got his man bun, I finally got his hair up, I got a bit sick of him, he walked into a tree post um, two days ago and did it in front of a lot of people and I felt that he felt embarrassed. So he's been walking about with his man bun, which people find really cute. So it's like any show start off with just a, a nice brush through. In order to do, because I'm using scissors, I'm going to put them on the frame in order to do a really nice cut. Hello Nicola! So I haven't contacted you for a little while, sweetheart. I've been really through it. If you're available sometime next week, you and John, could you come over and help me with the back garden? I've done the front and the side, but I'm finding it really difficult. Especially because I'm still not eating. I still haven't been to the dentist either. I mean, I'm more and worse than anyway. Anyway, back on point. In order to use the scissors and the comb, I'm going to put them on the frame because it's much, much easier because what Oberlin tends to do, especially when I start to groom them, is, as you can see, he just flattens himself. Which is good, because next week I'm going to test, see if I can get Obi to roll on his back. Because what I want to do is, he's underneath. And the underneath, more or less, I, I cut really, really short. Because one, it's hidden because he's got a skirt. So he doesn't show anything off. I think Oberon's a very, very sensitive so in the sense he gets embarrassed. So under there, what I'll, what I'll use is I'll use the clippers, just, so it's just a quick job, but what I'll do is I'll leave it until next week so I'll show you exactly what I do. That just feels always undercarried up, especially because I'm still doing this sewing, I'm still sewing him his little bathrobe. But I'm having to do it by hand, I just can't get the machine not to snap the, the thread all the time. I took it apart once, I'll see if I can find a clinic somewhere, it will help. But So I've sewn it by hand and I thought if I could try and make it all in one go, but what I've found is with the measurements and that, you really have to make it panelled wise. So it's got a bit under here, underneath the, the bottom carriage. Underneath the bottom carriage with the attachment to the legs, then on to the side panels and the top panel. Especially because it's going to be thick material, so it's um, 
I think what I have to do is make the, the undergarment first a, a cotton and then just work on um, building it up. Right, let me turn this off because I can look into the, the live show. Oh, he sent it. Oh, thanks, Luna, Nicole, Claudia, the three favourite ladies. How things so far with you are? I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of lot of bad storms about. I know it's starting to affect terriers, so I hope everybody's going to be okay and um, remain dry if you can, which means don't go out unless you really have to. So I'm just doing the normal relaxing stuff with Obi. What I always enjoy doing. I love brushing Obi. Find my best pastime. Now, because I'll be working on the chest, I'm not going to be doing this area. This area, I've already thinned it out, but what needs to happen next is I need to cut it shorter. And I've got to be doing that with scissors. So, next week I want to do his belly, but the belly is only going to take 30 seconds with the, with the clipper. Make it nice and neat. So, next week I'm going to be cutting from here downwards making it really short and I'll be doing it with scissors I will not be doing it with um, clippers and depending upon how well these scissors do tonight um, I might get the other pair you know the, the normal scissors I'm not going to go for curved ones because I don't need them and I think the curved ones with the ones that I've got here they yeah, are so large compared to this. Yeah? Right, put it down. The difference in size. See, I think when scissors are like this, it's alright if this is like you've got a great day or something like that, a big dog. But for little to bit of terror, these are useless. And considering they cost um, £5 less than fifties alone. But the thing is, I like the feel of these. I've got a nice sort of like, um, speckled handle, so your fingers actually grip to it. Although I don't like this, but I understand the reason for it. But it means that all scissors are made for left-handed people, isn't it? Or is that with this? No, it's this way round, isn't it? But unfortunately, you bring over here. That's why I don't like them. I would rather have a a curved um, scissor head so that my fingers can wrap around it when it needs to. So anyway, I'm going to be working on just this top part, just thinning it. Right, let me get this out. That needs baggy here. <laughs> so for this you're going to need comb. This is how you make sure you get a proper even cut. And the most important thing is that you can obey back these after the treats already. Mm -hmm. Why don't you turn around and I'll give you a treat? Let people see your little beautiful face, especially now you've got a man bun. You're always giving people the arse you are. Right. So this is a good thing about having the hair up in a bun as well. It means that I've got my line already, which is right here. But I'm going to put them up in the frame, as you can see. He's decided that I'm going to do my own thing. So, up. Up. Remember, make sure, as I always say, once the dog's on the table, you do not leave the table for anything. You always discharge, and if it's an emergency, scissors just cut them. These are easy to replace. Can you bring your butt round here for a change? That's it. I'll hold it there. I first got this, I was going to take these off, but then I realised that actually it's got a very practical reason. Wait a second. I 
I'm one of these tea drinkers where I actually leave the tea bag in the cup until I'm ready to drink it. I'm a true Scotsman, I love my tea. Um, right, oh, I don't need that. Right, so I'm put the neckline here, yeah? The most important thing about this is that you can get a comb through the hair because you don't want to end up cutting too much off because they match. What I'm doing is, is I'm brushing, <laughs> I'm brushing the hair forward so I can see underneath. This is how you get. Can you move yet? Really? Oh, well, that's just the thing. When he's getting a treat, he puts his bum to you. Maybe when he wants to be awesome, and then he looks at you. Maybe he's asking for help. What do you think? So I hope everybody's had a good week, good weekend, I'm looking forward to the week ahead. I keep saying I'm going to go and see the dentist but I always talk myself out of it. But what I'm going to do is, I did send a text message to my, my well-being but I've not heard anything back which means I might send another text. Because what I think's happened is he's either forgotten or he's on holiday. Those are usually the reasons why you don't hear from anyone. So again, make sure you can get the comb through the hair. And what you're basically doing, remember when you're grooming your dog, you're actually helping it to look after its coat as well. Because of the massage and stuff I get Bobby, his hair grows really thick, really funny. This can be a pain. You really are on the move tonight, aren't you? This is supposed to keep you still, but you're not still, are you? No. I wish there was a way I could get the camera to sort of like angle so you can see exactly Oberon's expression when I speak to him. He does have a very expressive face, but I'm working on the light system. I've got two lights, but one's broken, so I'll see if I can fix it. It's just probably one LED that's went, but it, if one LED goes, they all go. That's because of the way they're built. So working around the head area, Pull it, tie me up. Always make sure you go below the scissors. The only time you go above the scissors is when you're using proper um, cutting scissors. And also this will keep your dog a lot cooler as the weather improves and it is improving. Although for the couple of days that we've had there it's been really, really, really cold. But that's because I'm on top of the dance, as I always say. Eh? I'm on top of the dance. Right, I think what I'm going to do over is I'm going to come round the other side and I'll see if I can get him to put his point his face to the, the, t the camera. There we go. Come here. Lift that chin up. Right. So with the main chest here, what I want to do again is only proceed if you can get the comb through. This is the only time, I, I don't like holding over, I don't like using a grip on him. Will you stop him? Hmm? Have a break. You've got an audience here, there's a lot of people watching you. Um, I want 
when you feel tangles, one, there's two things you can do. One is you can use the slicker brush. The slicker brush will pick up the mat and it will just take it out a little bit at a time. Or if it's a really, really bad mat, you would use something like this. But be very, very careful. Those blades are sharp. And a couple of times. And the way to hold this is like that. Again, they really need these in left and right. And you just work it through the hair. It's a very, very, very quick way of getting out mats and scraggly bits. It was right at the bottom there. And here's another thing you can use the mats. This was all the way from America. It's, it's really good. But the thing, the drawback of this is it gets clogged very quickly. I think this is a lot more gentler. But this will do the trick. Let us say you've got to be so careful with it though. You can get an injury. Right, so we got that. Right, let's move back a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. I'm not going to go down doing it anyway, not a bit. Right, so this might prove more difficult. Basically what I want to do is to work from here, go across, go across, go across until I, I can get to where it will still be thick but it, but it won't be so hot. Now, I think I'm going to have to just use the scissors here, I don't think I'm going to be able to use both my hands. Slicker brush is your friend, but again remember, slicker brushes are sharp. It's when you get your ear hair in the way, oh dear, it becomes annoying. Also, I think the area down here, I'm going to cut back, but I'm not. I'm going to wait until I get the really good scissors before I do that. It looks like he's got a big beard down here, doesn't it? All right, come on, let's go. Just a little bit at a time, don't, don't go mad. Basically, what you just want to do is just thin out the top layer in particular. <coughs> and you only need it a little bit at a time. Oh, that's looking better. Right, I've done enough on that. I already had them on the table anyway because I put them on the table every day for about 10 minutes. But before I show, I tend to sort of like spend an extra half an hour before the show just getting them sort of like presentable. So, anyway, let me have a look, see who's in here. See how they are. Oh. I keep forgetting I've got the computer there. I can look in that, see who's in the, in the chat. There we go. You don't have to make it difficult, will they? Although I can communicate with Hobies, just little things he 
he thinks he can wiggle about as much as he wants on the table. But if anything he's going to learn through time. It just takes patience, patience. I just want to some off a nice little cut. So basically I've just thinned them. I was working on his face earlier on. But he's got his big fluffy look. Look at that. You want a treat? Yeah. He is a good boy, Chance. You really found the money there. Oh. <laughs> See, that's one thing I don't get about Facebook. Is even though I'm looking at the video live, obviously you turn the sound off and you'll get feedback. And I press the refresh page, it still doesn't update the page where we'll have people write because it says here there's eight mess it says here there's eight comments and um all I can see in it is Cynthia, Shanks and Nicole. Anyway, how are you Nicole? I hope you have a I've had a good week and I'm really liking the pictures of Maud. Be interesting to find out wh why did you choose Maud or is it Maud? It's an old English name isn't it? It's like Oberlin. Oberlin's old English. Even though you're acting in the fairies with smelly breath. The breath smells to them. It does. But I like him, I like him with his man bun. I particularly like he's got this little white stripe up his head. It makes me, it reminds me of, who was it? It was in the X-Men. Not Rogue. Um, the girl, I can't remember her name. So I'm going to get a lot of things done next week. I've been um, talking to Taylor and trying to eat again, but really needing to get a dentist. I will contact the wellbeing service tomorrow. I might just phone them, because I really need to get it seen to just make my life a misery. What is it? But yeah, what I did um, also with Phoebe is I gave him a sort of a, a blanket bath. Again, he stood in somebody else's poo. So when I got him home, I had to give him a quick wash. So I ended up one bit of water on the foot, ended up on his belly, ended up on his back. And I said, oh, let's give you a bath. So that's why he's looking extra fluffy tonight. But, yeah, I mean, the, the time that I spend grooming all day every day is that you notice things about the body. One thing I have noticed is he's getting slower. Well, he's coming up 10 on the 13th of October. I'm thinking of having a little birthday party for him. The last birthday party I had was in that dog cafe. Um, what is it called? Cheeky Chops. Cheeky Chops. And that was right back at the beginning when me and all good friends ourselves living on the streets. Now, if you notice around here, I will be shaping this so that it, it keeps a nice sort of symmetry, I think it's called. But yeah, I will put his hair up in a bun a lot more. You notice it was a little bit all over the place. But yeah, I think he appreciates it as well. Right, so anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Next week I will be doing his belly and I will be starting the cutting and the shortening because, you know, I like the line look where the hair is short, 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 and then all fluffy. But the bottoms of the paws obviously keep the hair. These will be getting cut back.
don't use um Oh, I, what I'll do is uh, I'll find it and I'll put it in the comments. It's a really beautiful song, but I thought it was such a nice name for a female dog. Sindel. Sindel. I've been trying some little experiments with Bobby about resonance. One thing I liked when I had teeth was singing. I love singing. But I'm a very private singer. So what I've been doing, when I've been doing old bronze um, drumming each night, I'd have the the radio on, listen to some music, and I sing to him. And then I notice that he really, what he tends to do is he turns around and he puts his head right here. And I think when you sing, this is where the resonance comes from. So I think it's serving for him. But there we go, that is one brush doggy, isn't it? Alrighty. Hang on to you. I, I'm feeling better, yeah. I just, uh, there's things that I need to do, like with the dentist and stuff. I really need to get on top of it. And what I'll do is I get my benefits on Thursday. So hopefully if I can, I will might give um, one of my friends a call to look after Obi. I don't want Obi with me when I'm going to a dentist. Because I get really upset and then he gets, he notices it. And he gets defensive. So I don't want to do that to him. So when I do go to the dentist, I will be by myself. Which is horrible because I hate being away from Obi. Even when I go over to the shop across the street, I don't walk, I run. I run across the street and run back. And I'm like, sorry I was so long. What thing do you do for your dog, eh? I tell him where I'm going exactly, how long I'll be. Which usually ends up in a fortune and treats as well, because every time I go to the shop, he expects a treat. But that's me, it's done that to him, that's my way. I don't crush the personality, I enhance it. <laughs> Even for all his thieving ways. But yeah, so the, the cutting of the, the scissors are actually good. I wish they were a bit more um, in the handle wise, a bit thicker. But what I could do is I could um, put electrical tape around the handle so it thickens it up and it makes it less slippery. So I'll do that for next week. I'll put some, um, I'll get some stuff on Thursday. There we go. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, I'll see you all next week, maybe Wednesday. I'll just see how it goes. Not Wednesday, it will be Thursday, because I get paid on Thursday. So Thursday I'll get the new scissors, and then maybe that evening I'll start doing a little show so that I can cut from here down and get the shape back again, because his shape's gone, because he's winter coat, I haven't cut it off yet, so I'm ready to do that for maybe during the week. But what I will be doing is I'll be working on a lot more on the, the cause, and particularly under here, getting it ready for the cut on Sunday. Yeah. 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 Right, here's the last print. Oh, it's not the last print. Daddy's been a... So, thank you all for tuning in. Um, hi, Paul. We're okay, Paul. Thanks very much. Um, I will see you all next week. And I'll let you know what I'll do is I'll update on the... Uh, ah, you did you get that bit, did you? Yeah? That's it. So I'll see you all next week. Good night. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you all hopefully Thursday, but I will keep you updated. 
See you later.